First I mark the cutting direction on the table saw disc and I also mark the perpendicular where I have the maximum height of cut. Now this is the strip I will use to guide the jig and I want it to bump into the screw I have there in the groove. This board will be the base of the jig. This is more or less the middle of the board and I want to align it with the cutting direction. And I want the maximum height of cut to be more or less here. And I will put here this plywood triangle. Well, I prefer to center the triangle on the base. Now this is a perfect 90 degrees angle. And because it is not easy to cut a perfect 90 degrees angle in my shop, I decided to use one of these boards I buy in a DIY center. The corners in this board are at a perfect 90 degrees angle. Then I mark the position of the strip and I insert one screw. I move it until it is more or less at 90 degrees with the front of the base and I insert another two or three screws. I make sure it will slide well and now I can lift the saw disc. And I cut the slot in the base. I have to cut until the guiding strip bumps into the screw in the groove. So now if I keep the guiding strip against the screw in the groove, the maximum height of cut is more or less here. Now I put a sacrificial board under the base. I put the triangle in the right place on the base with the vertex on the slot and next to the mark. Now I put that edge of the square against one edge of the slot, like this. Now I put this strip against the square. The faces of this strip are parallel. And with the help of a plastic square, I put the triangle in the right position. I make sure everything is in place and making sure I don't move the triangle, I drill a guide hole. I put some glue in the back of the triangle. I insert one screw in the back of the base until the tip protrudes the other side. And I fit the tip of the screw in the guide hole in the triangle. And I screw it. I move the triangle to the right position and I take my time to make sure the triangle is perfectly in the right position. I drill another guide hole and making sure I don't move the triangle I insert one screw in the guide hole. I make sure everything is still in place and I drive another two screws. And I clean the excess of glue. Now once again I can lift the saw disc. And I cut the slot in the vertex of the triangle. And let's make a test. Cutting with this meter cut jig is easier than what I thought. And the cuts are clean and straight. And if I joined both pieces, I get a perfect 90 degrees angle. So let's try to make a wooden frame. First I meter cut one long side and one short side of the frame. I sand them and I use them to mark the other two sides I need. The inside edge of the frame is my reference, so I will always put that edge against the triangle in the jig.
Now I have made the pencil lines in the outside of my work pieces. So when I cut, I must cut the line, but making sure I don't cut beyond the line inside my work piece. So when I cut in this side of the jig, I put the line inside the slot but against this edge of the slot. And when I cut in the other side of the jig, I will put the line inside the slot but against the other edge of the slot. Then I cut the second long side of the frame. I cut and I make some minor adjustments until the pieces are identical. And I do the same with the other short side of the frame, also making some minor adjustments until both pieces are identical. I got very clean and straight cuts. And when I join the pieces, I get perfect 90 degrees angles. I have to say I am really happy with this jig. Because the meter cuts I got are much better than the ones I get with my meter saw. I won't glue the pieces of the frame, but if I dry fit them, I can see they will look great. Thanks for watching. If you think this is an interesting jig, remember to like and share. You can find all my good working videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.